In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Learn-Memberships because in all honesty, it took me a long time to figure this out. Learn Dash's memberships isn't user friendly at all. Uh, that's why in my member press alternatives guide, I put Learn Dash as the very last one. Um, I think Teachable has a more user friendly way to create memberships for your course. But if you already have Learn Dash, you can create a membership. It's just a pain to figure it out. Uh, first, I want to mention I am actually on Learn Dash Cloud, uh, not the technically not the WordPress uh, website, which it is really similar in all honesty to the WordPress um, layout, as you can see. So um, I do think it's a little bit cleaner. I think um, at least when you're on WordPress or all these different plugins and it gets pretty messy. So I think the cloud view is cleaner. Uh, it's a little easier to navigate, but if you prefer all your plugins and to enhance the functionality of Learn Dash, then I just suggest using the, the WordPress plugin. But I just wanted to go over that real quick. Uh, let me go over how to create a membership. And it took me forever to figure this out um, because Learn Dash, they kind of explain it like they do have um, a resource center that isn't very good. <laughs> I kind of had to play around with the back end in order to figure it out. But one thing I did learn from Learn Dash's support is that they don't call their memberships a membership. They call it a group. So what you do. Um, to create a membership, you can't create a membership, you have to create a group. So you go, you hover over Learn-LMS, and then you click Groups. And then, see, I already created one, and now to create a second membership, let's just say your membership has multiple tiers. So I just created the first tier, now I'm going to create the second tier. So you go to, oops, you go to add group and you know it looks very similar to a traditional WordPress backend. Um, however, you're pretty limited on the content that you can choose. Um, but the nice thing about this is that once you figure it out, it is pretty easy to link the actual group to your course. Um, but first, I want to go over the settings tab because this is the most important one. And then again, Learn Dash doesn't really have the most user friendly, you know, way to set these, you know, like these pricing, for example. Um, you know, you have to go into settings, which again, it took me a little bit to figure that out. Uh, so for a membership, you have different options. You can put it as free. Uh, just like a one-time payment, a recurring payment, um, or closed, uh, which is more of like a private setting. And then if you do click something like recurring, well here, actually, let me just click buy now. And then, you know, you can just set your your price. So I'm just going to put one for a dollar. And then you can um, put your own custom URL, but I'm just going to ignore that. If you do want a recurring price you know again learn dash gives you all these different customizations so group price going to put that for a dollar you can uh like select different intervals so if it is year you know you can do yearly uh if it's like monthly you can do once every like quarterly once every four months you know so on and so forth um, and then if it is like if you are setting up something like a free trial, you know, you can just like do like maybe a two week trial or if it's month, but one month. So once you get over the learning curve, it is pretty. I do like uh, Learn Dash's customizations. Um, but again, it's just this learning curve was kind of difficult for me to get past. Uh, now, in order to 
link your membership or your group to a course, you just click this courses tab and then boom, your courses should show up right here. So click your course and then boom. So you put it into the assigned group courses. And then from here, once you're ready to publish all of that, you just click publish as and you know, as with any other WordPress, WordPress function. So I really hope I helped you learn how to create a Learn Dash membership because I struggle to create one. And I don't want you, you know, pulling your the hair out of your head like I was doing earlier. <laughs>